Little man out here roaming around, playing with the bars, took him to the took him, took him to the beautiful lake. The one and only lake. He can he ain't going that deep because I ain't going under there. Yeah, we're having a blast right there. Try to climb trees just like his uncle. Start throwing the fit, we're going straight to the house. Come on. Let's go tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let me stop bull, man. Stop with the bullish stuff. Let me get the video started for my guys, my ladies and gentlemen out there, man. Everybody, man. I love the world, man. Enjoying life right now. I love life. Let me stop playing and get this started. <laughs> Davey, no more to come in. God, no more to come. I'm back with the video. Oh. I'm back, man. Lit. Like I promised y'all before, man. Time to be growing if you ask. July 3rd. Couple hours is about to be the 4th. Probably like about like four, about four hours about to be the 4th. A lot of fireworks about to go off. That's the time to be growing. But that's not why we here. I could care less about 4th of July, to be honest with y'all. I don't really care about no holiday, no man-made holiday. We celebrate this so they get this, whatever, whatever their agenda is, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. Don't care about them niggas. Don't care about nothing they got going on. But, special treat for y'all. Let me show y'all that. Right here, this is not no ordinary cookie. It look like it. That's the cornbread cookie. And we got the s'mores one. Let's get that a try. Let's dig deep on this. <sighs> Sit out so y'all can see me. Let's try it. Out. All right, they got all the butter just sitting right here. So we're just gonna take a bite right there. That's definitely cornbread. Out of five, I get at four. Four out of five. S'mores. Three point four. Not bad at all. I'm gonna try some more soon, man. <laughs> what I really wanted to say, man. That's just I hope y'all been taking care of yourselves, man. Self care. Most important care. It's cold truth that nobody in the face reality is. If you not take care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody. A lot of people are so distracted on try to be there for people mentally. And I hope you know that it would never work. What you mean it would never work, Omar? It would never work. You could be there you could be there so much for somebody mentally. It just backfired. They're gonna start thinking you're the problem. They're gonna start smacking you in the face. And you gotta realize 
their brain talk to them 24 hours a day. You only talk to them probably like a little under half a day. So you can't be somebody, you can't help somebody but try to help them beat their brain when they, when they got to do all the hard work. And you just try to tell them what to do. That's why I don't indulge in that, man. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do. I'm here to help you, man. I'm here to take you from literally from your world to my world. And however long the videos is, to come kick it with me, enjoy it with me. I don't indulge in being somebody's therapist or trying to make them do something that they don't want to do. But if you ask me, I will tell you what I see. But until you ask me, it won't be none of my business. You feel me? Self-care, man. Take care of yourself, man. Talk to yourself. Check in. Check in with yourself. A lot of folks don't do that. Check in with yourself. See, see if you okay with doing this before you went to, before you go over there and clock into that job again. Check in for yourself before you think you about to watch a movie for two, three hours. It don't matter what you're doing. Check in with yourself first. It's, it's all you got, bro. Because if you're not okay up here, bro, you're going to be doing it for so long and then you're going to end up what they call far gone. And far gone is just that you're so mentally out of it, you don't even know you're out of it. You think you're perfectly fine, bro. It gets so bad to the point that some, some folks really think that they're okay. And then when you actually sit down and have a deep talk with them, they're gone, bro. <laughs> selling your soul too long, man. That's what I call you doing things you don't want to do with selling your soul, man. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. Do I want to do anything? Nah, not me. I don't give a fuck about talking to nobody, indulging in any activities, care about what reputation, what reputation, reputation, reputation people want me to build so they could like me. Don't care about achieving anything so folks could like me. Not me, bro. I make myself happy, man. And some people just be so frustrated with it because there ain't nothing they could do. Like, say, new folks come in your life. It's nothing they could do to make you happy. And they think it's their fault. They blaming themselves. Like, I'm not good enough. I'm da -da 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 -da. It's not that, bro. You got to realize. Self-love is forever. Love you, you get from all these people is temporary, folks. It's all temporary. No matter who it's from. Yo, what, your girlfriend right now? Y'all break up right now. She gonna act like she don't know you. She gonna start responding to your calls, texts, and everything. Probably even start deleting some of y'all videos and photos. That's not real love, bro. That's, that's, that's waiting to end that temptation in her life so she could build a new one with the person that you're supposed to become. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's true. She gonna find somebody that you're supposed to be and build their, build her new life with him. It's fucked up, but it's true, G. Or if he's not you, she thought he was going to be the new you. You got to remember, every chick's ex, if you get in a relationship, right? For instance, it's not everybody, bro. This is like the, I'm literally talking to the 10%. Every chick's ex, right? If that dude was unreplaceable, one of a million, if she get in a relationship with you, she expecting me to do all the things that he was doing, bro. That's what a lot of y'all don't realize. Like, oh, you ready to eat your tacos like that? She she not gonna say like, oh, my ex did that. But she like, oh, I just know other guys that do stuff like, y'all gotta realize the wording, bro. Females, when you mess with a bracket of females, right? You gonna have the basic chicks, random chicks, um, 304s. The high three hundred fours, which is the chicks on OnlyFans and all that, the ones that everybody actually want to crack. The regular three hundred fours is just mid, whole bunch of mid chicks that, for some reason, niggas is still out here messing with gorillas. I call them gorilla warfares. Then you have top tier women. It's no, you can't lay with no top. Tier, you can't lay with no top tier woman. Cause a top tier woman, a top tier woman to me. Care what you talking about. You mess in a bracket of females, right? 
and they've been around a whole bunch of high value guys. Say you just like a mid value guy. You know what you want to do, but you keep being distracted by pussy and you know all this goofy shit around you. It's like, it's like this. Let me put it like this for you, right? Because I keep talking around and keep being around the bush. She gets with you, right? Because she sees something in you. And yes, a woman can see stuff in you, like how you can see stuff in females. They might not be where they want to be at, but you know somehow, some way they won't get there. Or, you know, they might get there. You don't know exactly. Right? So woman gets if a woman be if a woman that only mess with high value guys decide to mess with you and you mid, she sees something in you, bro. And she gonna be throwing signs that she mess with dudes with more money and crazier habits than you, bro. Like, oh I know it sounds weird. I eat avocados on my sandwich. Mm. This is she this is what she went and said, Well my ex ate avocados, turkey bacon, and eggs. But she was like, Oh, I know some guys that may eat turkey bacon eggs and eggs. Basically, what I'm saying is you're not doing nothing new under the sun, my nigga. And the 10% of women out there, they they dating you because you the new version, new improved version of her ex. Keep it a buck with you, you is. If you're not a Tyrone, if you're not a Tyrone, bro, must be a Zed or something. Zed, Tyrone, whatever. Her ex probably was still real little. You know what I'm saying? And she fucking with you. Her ex probably was still with little, bro. We still with little Omar? Smart, nerdy nigga with glasses. He don't have to be short or anything. But he was a smart, nerdy nigga with glasses. Probably got money, too. But how, how you're a replacement? You probably hit the gym, bro. You probably got money too. Probably not as much money as my nigga uh, Stuart Little. But you got something on you, G. She sees that. You feel me? I'm just fucking. What am I talking? What am I talking? What the fuck am I doing? I'm just. This is yapping, man. Y'all can hear it right now. These niggas is going off on the fireworks. Man, 4th of July is not till like another four hours, my nigga. 10, 11, 12, my fault, I'm like two and a half hours. These niggas are tripping. Yeah, I guess I'm done yapping. I'm talking about absolutely nothing.